And then over in the men's game, it was a sluggish start for the hoop squad, but the boys still found a way to get a bucket here from Jay Sean Jackson, who's going to get around and get this one off the glass and get the and one. And here's the deal. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Chris Pryor on the next possession wants a little bit of action himself, goes up and gets the bucket and gets the foul. Then again with Pryor with possession in this one, but this time Terry Anderson's going to fake the screen, go out, squeak out, and land the shot from beyond the three. But Big Red suffers another loss. Here's Coach Alvin Brooks on the outcome of the game. They came out shooting the ball red hot in the first half, shot 66 in the first half. We didn't string together enough good defensive stops. And for us, uh, offensively, we couldn't get a good flow. In the second half, the positive is we dug ourselves out of a hole, had a chance to cut it to 10 several times, and then missed layups and missed free throws. We showed in the second half that we're capable of doing it. We just got to do it now for 40 minutes every night. Lamar will plan to rebound against McNeese Monday night at the Natchez Arena.